TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 25th of July in the year 2020. Thank you to Berkeley County Sheriff Curtis Keller for allowing us to give you this look into the day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode features four traffic stops, a welfare check, and a minor vehicle collision. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. That there's several cars in that street over that we hit on the way here. Awesome, buddy. You just want to pull it here. You're, you'll be safe behind our cruiser. No, I need your ID, buddy. Need your ID your registration. Hey man. Yeah, 
have yes, funding projects. Yeah, 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 you have funding. Did you have something? I don't have it, but they're, they're still sitting in the middle of the road up there. All the cars are. I didn't okay, film it's it in the it five just, what block of West County. It's, he, it's like this down. next block up. He cut the corner so from Winchester, come down John Street, and then turn this onto okay. Rally, and he swiped. Lawrenceburg. Thirty is going to have to check the 500 block of West John. Apparently, at least four or five cars were struck in the 500 block of West John. Just log that location on the CAD. I'm speaking with one of the victims. Um, okay. Well, we know where he started, so we have an officer up at that okay. end right now. That's crazy. So man. we'll work our way down to you. Okay. That's so, worse now. I mean, I've been here for 12 years. I've never seen anything this bad. Right. Are you the news? Or are you with them? Yeah, I'm, I'm with him. I just pulled up to the sheriff's office and said that there's some guy spinning tire trying to run into the wall right here. Came down and he was still actively trying to, whatever he was doing, drive the car, I guess. And uh, just yanked him out. The vehicle's obviously smoking. He's saying that his wife lives right over there. Um, but the people at the office say he's hit like 10 cars okay. all in the city. So. I'm going to have the fire department just come down and check his car out because it's smoking. I right. Yeah. I'm Lawrenceburg. I told Bert to get fire department started. Okay, you can have the fire department respond down here. I don't think it's anything too serious, but I want them to address it. They're the professionals. It, it is smoking a little bit, so I don't know if it's going to get worse or calm down. Into it today. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm Deputy Shockey. I work for the Sheriff's Office. I've been there two years now. Uh, been out on my own for over a year and I uh, just love what I do and I work on um, the weekends mostly and I enjoy what I do. So. Do you have a favorite part about the job? Um, just like helping people, honestly. I mean, this job is uh, is all parts. I I like going home and knowing that I've I've helped somebody in their either in their time of need or prevented something from occurring that could be bad. So I feel like that's a very standard thing with police officers. We we want to do good, and it, it's very it's a very fulfilling job if you actually take it serious. So that's what I enjoy about it. I thought you have a least favorite part? Uh, a lot of the the paperwork that's just for insurance companies. You, a lot of times you're just a paper pusher. That's <laughs> never the fun part. I can tell you that. Sure. <laughs> yeah. The more I do this, the more I get a lot of the same answers. I'm sure. You know, the paperwork and the uh, the mental hygiene trips. Those tend to be the least favorites. Yeah. <laughs> What has, uh, I guess, the sheriff authorized for this? Are you like, I know you got out of the call with me there, but like, how often do you get out of the call? Is that up to me? Or, uh, yeah, it's up to you. It, you know, it's up to you. I'll follow your lead if you don't. Uh, you, know, you know, if you want to tell me to stay in the car or stand back or anything like that, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I just want to make sure that if I tell you to sit in the car, you're going to. You're gonna listen, basically. Sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, sure. Are you clear for events? So, yeah. Um, when it comes to us pulling cars, I want to try. Like I said, I want to try to get you. I guess as much footage or whatever soon, so we can get out of this hot car. <laughs> sure. Um, when it comes to traffic stops, um, I prefer if you would basically stand at like my front passenger side, like uh, 
Like right there where the bumper kind of meets where the headlights are basically um, unless I like motion you forward just at least on anything on the initial stops I don't want you right there to approach the vehicle yeah, yeah. yeah I just unless it's something if I like if I give you the motion that you can come on up basically I just if something's going to go down I, the last thing I wanted you to be yeah eating bullets right there in the face with me so, right right uh, this county is nothing but craziness so <laughs> stuff that I see is day-to-day -day life I'm sure people are like wow that's you know absolutely nuts but I like the thing that we just saw where the guy hit all those cars yeah I mean hitting 10 cars and then trying to go into a basically a, a brick wall without two Perfect wheels and he's just like oh yeah this is normal I'm just test driving a vehicle <laughs> that, uh, negative for all. it's very standard around here it's very weird what do you think he was I mean, must have been like intoxicated or something right? he didn't have the odor of alcoholic beverage coming from him but uh his pupils appeared to be dilated so he could have been mixing prescriptions that the doctors didn't catch and aren't good for him or mm -hmm. he could be self-medicating and that's always uh the worst of the options looks like they removed him from the scene already yeah MPD has enough officers that whenever stuff like this happens, they can send a lot of people and get scenes cleared up very quickly. Does the city actually have more officers than the county then? Um, it depends. I know that they're hiring 14 more positions. I think once they get all those filled, they will have more officers than we do. But um, because there's such a compact area of where they uh, where their jurisdiction is to patrol and everything, they can send three people to a call and get a scene like that cleared up very quickly compared to us that have five of us on tonight to run the entire county. Waiting for Perry. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, how do I fasten this? So, get her down, you kind of want it more. Yep, that's decent for you right there. And then your Velcro straps on the back. That's how it gets fastened. So, kind of snugged up because it's a pretty big vest. We can adjust it. So, there's that's your top strap. You're going to have two of them. So, Velcro it right to there. And this one's your bottom one. Velcro it right to there. And awesome. then you basically just want to make sure it's kind of even. So, it's nice and Nice and snug there. Yeah. Right about there. That looks pretty decent on you. But yeah, basically you want it right there where your uh, your collarbone connects. That's kind of okay. where you want the top of your vest. And you want your the bottom of your vest to be about your belly button. Yeah, okay. then, so that's about right. Yep. Yeah, looks pretty decent on you actually. So I'm thicker than I look. Are you from this area? I am, yeah. Grew up here my whole life. So what happened down here? Someone ran into a bunch of golf carts? No, what dispatch advised was there was, um, I believe a truck and a sedan that uh, just had a uh, an accident there inside of the park, Riverbend Park. So, but we get a lot of calls from where they try to report accidents that are golf cart. Perfect, 156. They used to care for dispatch. Golf cart against golf cart and that kind of thing, and those aren't. Those aren't reports because golf carts aren't required to have insurance and they're on privately maintained road. You don't always get a sense of exactly what's going on just from the call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, dispatchers at best are getting one side of the story and usually people are very uh, general and dumped and can't articulate their work very well. So they're saying stuff that isn't exactly happening. Circle around, buddy. Come around. Circle around. All right. What are we got going on here?
coming through to go to our lot, their vehicle hit our mirror, broke our mirror, not the light, the mirror part, not the thing itself. Um, so we stopped. Okay. He said to her, "There she is. Uh, it's got to be like that." She got back in her vehicle. No, she I left. Speak them for a reason. Because she was no, calling. That's my exact right, Hey, that's I'm not. Exact. Hey, we're, stop we're not it. Stop this. it right now. You can go back to your car. I'll come talk to you. Okay. We're not going to have an argument. Go ahead. Here. We can finish. That was my exact words. She said, so it's just like that. And then she left. And then she got her vehicle left. I, in turn, called security. Uh -huh. Let them know immediately because we were, you know, not at fault. Right. If there's a problem going on, we want to find out. We just wanted the insurance information, so we, so we put it through there. That's okay. all we needed. I got you. Called did you already them. exchange information? No, we did not. So they actually, they did not call, didn't call anything. Security stopped them okay. here at the gate because they were taken off out the gate. Okay. So they never made, did they call? They never called, but when they left, she was saying something about her mirrors messed up, but she didn't say what it was involved with, and that's my car pulled over to the side and okay. the so you give me, so who was the driver? Oh, he was driving. driving. Yeah. You give me your driver's license, the registration, the insurance. I'll come back and talk to you. I want to go talk to her and we'll get this all Here's his statement. I want to and some right. other guy who witnessed it in the park for them. Witnessed it for them? For them, and then here's her, Brittany, that's her statement of okay. the driver, but them okay. too is for them. Gotcha. There's someone on the park that witnessed it too, that it was them, that's all. You're Brittany, is that correct? That's Brittany, yeah, I got Hi. it. Hi. So tell me what happened. Okay, so his pops nine, we were trying to get out of here. I admitted that I was probably going a little bit faster than I should have. Okay. Well, there was a cart in front of me, which initiated everything. Okay. He brake checked me. His parents were just up here. And he, I was like, you know you're supposed to pull over for cars, right? He's like, and you know there's a speed limit. I admitted the security I was. I did. Uh, I was the, the person on the golf cart isn't that person. No, okay. no. Well, then he was coming right after that. And I couldn't get over any more than I already was, well, and we right and we smacked mirrors. Okay. Well, I stopped. I got out of the car, looked at my mirror. He got out of his truck. He said, "Shouldn't been going that fast." Mm. And that was that. And I called security because you know I didn't want to let nobody know. I didn't even know any damage was even done in his truck. I thought just mine. All right, I got you. Because he didn't come towards me. He got back in his and left. So where, right. we, where we got over, we couldn't go no farther. Could have a two-level picket fence there. I got you. And where he got over, he could have got over farther. All right, I hear. Well, I, we got regular mirrors. You can see he has two mirrors. Right. You know, I got it's you. Actually, a foot and a half bigger. I mean, this is all private property. As long as everybody gets the information. I have it all. Everything's, you know, and everything's up to date. And my dad, whose name's in it, he's on his way up. He's in this year. That's he fine. Thank you for all that. I don't have it on me, honestly. No, it's not. I have, but this is my dad's vehicle. I'm driving his car. I don't have any of it on me. But I can tell you, right, I can give you my sound desk. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can grab the phone. I appreciate it. Yeah, we got a pass. Oh, they're right in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't get over no farther than we could. Oh, I, I, I don't have yours, Joe. We took out a fence. Secure. Did you film cops? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, local, local TV. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the vehicle owner, sir? Yes, sir. All right, gotcha. Looks like they just smacked the mirrors. I want to make sure everybody gets vehicle exchange information. What happened? Hmm? 190. Am I on camera? You kind of like to be? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just play for I was out on the water. To security, what makes the okay. he's not going to lie to the Listen, police? It, like he said, it's private property. As long as we're all whatever, it, it, my, I you're already in my truck. That's right. And you hit my car? No. Yeah. Your mirror? No. Our mirror's flat. Our mirror's flat right. side by side. Neither right. one of you. I couldn't get I'll over anymore. As far as I could go. And she says she was her far as you can go. Well, the roads are small. But well, why is your tow mirrors out if you're not telling Mom, me? Okay. Look, all right, you can go back to your vehicle. Oh, I'm not, oh, 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 no, chill, stop. Chill, chill, I'm not going to have an argument. Oh, oh, argument. Oh, 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 back to your vehicle, no, Okay, come on. Let's go. Right here. Well, come on. Okay. We're asking a question. Yeah. Oh, you're not even part of it. That's my car. Great, you were driving on the car. Go to your vehicle. We don't want anybody to get arrested. That's not what we need. It's not. That's how far That's fine. As far as my mirrors go in. Stop paying for mine. Good deal. But that, I'm just saying, that's as far as my mirrors go in. I, I'm not, what I'm saying, what I'm just saying is, if you got damage to yours, pay for yours, I'll pay for mine. I got a $300 mirror. So do I. <laughs> yes, okay, it's got the heat. Then okay, we'll just let the insurance companies handle it. That's well, all okay, I want. That's, that's, fine. Support, that's, that's all I want. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, you fine. go back to your vehicle. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to argue. That's fine. I'm not going to have any. I got stuff right now. Go back to your vehicle. Okay, then we'll let them do that. We'll let the insurance company settle it. That's all I wanted. I apologize. I got this. I didn't know if you, I didn't know if you were affiliated with them kids. Because right, right when you passed me and that happened, that little kid was like, ha ha, karma's a bitch. 
Yeah. So I didn't know if it was purposely yeah. done or not. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was my kid. I was yeah. giving yeah. yeah. the whole Just like the reason. I, well, I did admit to speed in a little bit. I admitted right to security. I was his groom valentine. I'm, I'm trying to get that. I'm not saying you guys were ruining it for a minute, which is good. I'll go with Gordon. I do a better than Gordon. And it is not a wide purpose. When they're both big trucks. I get it. I get it. I didn't know anything was done to your mirror, honestly. I promise you. I didn't look at it. It just it cracked the glass in your mirror. Yeah, that's all that mine is. My mirror, my soul, my, my mirror. Get you doing the fun part of the job? Yeah. <laughs> Never been always a joy. No, but I, I grew up here. Right, so there's your information about it. Thank right. you. So there's a copy of the insurance for okay. the parties, all right? All right. There'll be a private property accident, it's up $500 probably. And y'all moving and that kind of thing. Yeah. I'm not finding either party at fault. It'd be too hard for me to do that. And it's just, it's just That's a basic the information. Yeah. If you do need a police report, it's gonna be just based off a CAD, a computer automated dispatch, okay. whatever 911's called, something started. Your vehicle information, you'd be in the driver's own. Same with theirs. Oh, okay. If an insurance company needs it, that's all it would be. It's okay. not going to be a full accident. All right. All, right. all right. So other than that, if you have any questions, I'm Deputy Shock. You can give the sheriff's okay. office a call. Okay. Right. It's pretty simple. All right. I want to well, give thank the, you. Yeah, no problem. I want to give the same. You're cool down. You're sweating too much. Oh, uh, that's just it. My air conditioner went out coming oh, here. So. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Okay. See you later. Um, we saw something else. And I apologize to him too. When I, I was on the boat, and they yeah. they sounded like he said karma's a my daughter, it was the kid. But it was the kid, so I want to apologize. Okay, I got and you. that's why it was I'm, just, I'm not having, I'm not going to, you know, manage an argument. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I get so it. So that's all your information. Oop, I think you dropped something. So you're getting the same thing. This is a vehicle information exchange. Your information is going the same as his. So y'all have your uh, insurance information. Whenever you turn into your insurance company, it wouldn't be a full report. If you need something that the insurance company requests, you can get on the sheriff's office and get a CAD. It's called a computer automated. Your information is going just like his is, is you were the driver and that's the vehicle that's involved. I'm just going to notate that y'all smack it here. Can I get a repair order so I don't get pulled over? A repair order? Can I get one so I don't get pulled over? Good. If you want a warning for defective right equipment, back. I can do that. You can do that for me. <laughs> so that when they I'm run sorry, the tags. <laughs> your VIN is coming back, no matching record. Ten four. just put it down. It's going to be a Ford F3. Ten four. So. Oh. He just got arrested. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's, it's he's got all the proper papers. Did my, so. did my license come back expired? No, it didn't come back at all, actually. Do you have anything? Do you have an old license going there? I don't have anything on me. You don't have anything? I have my sound X. Your sound X? Yeah, but I don't want to give it to you because it's expired. And I just, with the COVID shit, I haven't done it yet. Well, so. I'm not going to give you a ticket. Well, I don't want to pull I don't want to pull out and you pull me over. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> How would you give me something so I can identify you when you get out, too? My Britney spelt definitely. Oh, okay. Oh. My dad don't know how to spell it, so my ID is B R I T anyway. Okay, I got it. <laughs> so that's my sound note. I didn't do anything wrong. See, this is because I got pulled over that license before. Yeah. And my name A N Y on my back, and I didn't have it. And he's like, "Are you got warrants? Are you lying to me?" I'm like, "No, I don't got no criminal record." Yeah. <laughs> all right, I got you. Sounds good. Just give me a second to be out of here. All right. All right. I don't know for you. Oh yeah. Information's been exchanged. I was unable to determine who was involved. There's no take down that both driver's side mirrors were the only things damaged. 98 in the report, CAD for insurance purposes. Very close. I was going to get to fight that dude. <laughs> People down there don't stop drinking. They call it. There's no such thing as day drinking. They just, they're awake. They're drinking. <laughs> so like both of them were saying. We've had lots down here for 30 years. Grew up down here. That's the honest to God truth. There's never been people that they don't branch out too far. They grow up down there and they don't ever leave. So. I don't know if I've ever been down there. What is it? 305 Roman 1041. Kind of like a country club or something where you have like a <laughs> 305, country club. Well, <laughs> uh, you heard the song Redneck Yacht Club? Yeah. <laughs> there, that's your closest thing you got for it. There's probably a good 600 lots back in there because it goes all the way down to the river probably 15 to 20 different side street roads that there's campers and stuff parked all along and uh, the thing is is you play out on the river all day and then at night everybody has like a golf cart of some sort and they just drive around and that's that's what they do so this is like, like cabin lots or something they own or yeah so it's like um they own the lot and then they can park their camper on it and then they pay their dues to the 
it's not really a homeowners association, but it's basically the people that kind of maintain it. And they got they got a bar down there. They got a pool, like all kinds of uh, like uh, horseshoe pits and that kind of stuff. Just like a like how you see Fourth of July, like what you do, like your Fourth of July picnics kind of thing. Uh -huh. That's them year round, all year round. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's a nonstop cookout basically. They have their own security down there. It doesn't know how to do anything other than call 911. They're useful in the sense they, whenever we get there, they take us to wherever, you know, whatever's going on, basically. But there's no way to know all the roads around there. There are just too many of them, and they're all golf cart track, really. Uh, it's it's hard enough to get a charger down one of the roads, let alone any of the big SUVs that we have. It's not surprising that the two decent sized wheel based vehicles clipped mirrors at some point in the actual park itself. Pull into the bank parking lot. You clear for your information? Just stand by one. Pull into the bank parking lot. Copy 154. Fifty four Berkey, Center nineteen twenty provide. Copy one fifty four. Be a uh, real dark in color Ford Explorer SUV. Be pulling into First United Bank, Grade Road. Uh, Copy on 54. Copy on 54. License plate cover? Yeah. So, in the state of West Virginia, anything that obstructs your license plate's view in any way, it's a license plate obstruction. So, that includes like the uh, little dealer advertising things that hardly cover up anything like on the outside. Oh, wow. but, uh, the biggest reason why I stopped this one, you had to be right up behind the vehicle to see the license plate, and I couldn't tell what kind of sticker was under it. I mean, now because we're stationary, I can see that's a 2021, but it was definitely obstructed from what I could see. Everything squared away, they even have their vehicle inspected and, and everything else. So. Just a verbal warning telling them to take it off. If we were on our way down to Riverbend to take care of the call we just got done, I wouldn't have worried about pulling them over. It's kind of is, is the fish worth frying, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're not backed up on any calls. We don't need to go assist anybody. Yeah, it's it's no problem to First make a traffic stop or something like this. Information. So, you all live on this morning. I got a Be center IT with it. One fifty four, go ahead. Be entrance ID one northbound twenty three and come back to a black and color Honda.
this when you ran the tags first before you pulled them over? Is that what? Yeah, you're we did. So uh, we tried to dip out on us going into 7-Eleven back there, so that's why we pulled over and waited for them to come back out. So it's common when people have something that they could possibly want to hide, but they'll try to go to a convenience store if they think you'll lose it first. We'll see. I'm debating on what to do in the sense I'm waiting for license to come back to see if they're all valid, see if anybody has warrants or not, and then just kind of go with the investigation from there. So we're just waiting on the specialist to come. Deciding whether or not to ask the searcher. Yeah, I want to know what I'm, basically who I have in the car and what I'm, what I'm getting myself into in the sense. So, you know, they might be from Maryland, they might not have local warrants, but the National Criminal Database could say he's wanted for murder, which I, I highly doubt it. It doesn't seem like he would be a murder, but before I go up and ask him to step out so I can talk to him or something like that if I so choose to, I just I want to know that the people are identified and if there's any warnings for violence against law enforcement or anything like that, I'd like to know about it, so kind of you know, manage myself in a certain way, you know what I mean? Sure. Get all the all the information available. Yep. He just seems like a younger guy. I mean, he's under 21. And he wanted to argue with me at the window, so it makes him seem like he has something he kind of wants to hide because he wants some confrontation. But we'll see. So you generally a north end patrol? Yeah. I mean, it it all depends. I prefer being north. I like. The county, First the people a, a little bit better. You'd be surprised just in the county of this size. There's different mindsets between north and eight, south. Two, nine, but there's so many, so many subdivisions and everything going in that there's not too many people that were born and raised here. It's all people that are moving Tango, from work. Sir, hey, I think we're here for some sort of welfare okay. check. Yeah. Um, give me a minute to get someone up here to take you down there. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine, bro. Right. I guess pull over, go up. Sounds good. That's a common mode of transportation around here. Oh yeah. Somewhere between that and a golf cart. Golf cart. Yeah. Those are fun. Those side by side, mm -hmm. all terrain. Can't beat it. Wow. Be like a big movie star or something. <laughs> <laughs> You'll definitely get a lot of YouTube hits, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm responsible to make sure you get home safe above me getting home safe, so I'm not going to put you into an unsafe situation if I can help it, you know? Sure. So, yeah, I signed up for this. You signed up to run a camera. <laughs> Sir? You know the block a lot? I have no idea. What's the last name? 136, Berkeley. Give me a second, I'll, I'll let you know. Y'all ready? Yeah, man. Oh, wow. Well. That ain't too bad. That ain't great, but it ain't more bad.
Good. You live here? Nope. All right. Okay. Hey, John. Hi, what are you doing? I'm with him. Local TV. weekend, all right?
Just a case of uh, paranoid baby mama. Huh? Oh, a thousand percent, yeah. <laughs> Good case of wasting our time. She's already been in contact with her in a previous hour. No offense. I hate people in my car. I mean, it's one thing being a field training officer. But I like having my office space just to me. Sure. And I can. No, I understand that. I'm, you know, uh, I'm used to. Being told that some of the some of the guys you're getting used to seeing me now, and they see me in the in the lobby there waiting to go, and they're like, "Oh no!"
got to do what you got to do to make ends meet. Because, uh, All right. You ain't kidding. <laughs> I hear you on that, buddy. <laughs> I do home improvement in the morning and I fry okay. chicken at night. Oh, yeah? What do you do home improvement for? I work for Little Brothers Home Improvement. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, right. Everything. Carpentry. Oh, yeah? Everything. Carpentry. Everything. A little bit of electric. Everything. Before you say for We're not going to talk <laughs> it definitely wasn't the right thing, you know. Yeah. You know, uh, people do what they do, you know what I mean? I hear you. I don't look down on it no more, but I don't, I don't do it. You know? People are going to do it. That they will. Four ounce of cocaine. Not a bad little day. Right? That's a lot of cocaine. Yeah. What are you, just a little roach or something? It wasn't even, the only thing that was left was tobacco. Um, leaf. Because that's how most people smoke here. Marijuana. They take a cigar leaf, they cut out all the tobacco and then stuff it inside. Oh, uh, so, so uh, yeah, the only uh, thing you had was. Blunt. Yeah. So, there wasn't even any left. It was just all tobacco. He knew he messed up though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always surprised when young people get pulled over or something. Fans of you, if you don't like me. <laughs> they were sitting there sheets. They must have seen your video recorder. Uh, See, they wanted their 10 minutes of fame, buddy. Okay. I mean, it could have been somebody I know. I mean, I'm from around here, but uh, I didn't recognize them just from, you know. <laughs> yes. I hear you. Fan of the show too. Five four yeah. five trot, five I got four five. They went and they, they yeah, I see all the numbers for go. YouTube. I have no idea how many people watch it on the local TV. Traffic on fifty four, go ahead. Williamsport Pike Gate. It's gonna be a golden color Jeep of uh, Cherokee.
insurance information so she was showing expired registration which is your tags and expired motor vehicle inspection so they're both out of date by over a year the biggest thing is is insurance as long as she has insurance I will allow her to drive away because she's getting a citation for the other things if not then we'll have to tow her vehicle so we'll see what she's found and we will go from there think that she thinks you're my body cam <laughs> she thanks me for what I do and then she says I'm also very sorry that you have to be recorded <laughs> I take it as she thinks that you're my body are you clear <laughs> they, they employ another person to follow me around with the camera actually it makes more sense than it should it's like a martial arts guy with a camera to make sure the chokehold's not going to be fatal yeah, yeah here it is. <laughs> Somebody been arrested before whenever you were riding with him? My very first show, Probably we arrested two guys. Oh, yeah? And I don't think we've arrested anyone since. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm super competitive. Super competitive? Yeah. <laughs> I want to arrest three guys now. <laughs> He pulled into the rock station, Hedges Hill Road, Rockcliffe Drive. Should be a uh, Mazda sedan. Copy on 54. 156, bro. 156, go ahead. Can you have the thing confirm that Joshua Davis was a offender? Here I close now. Copy on 56. inspection no so as you can see it doesn't have tag lights it's license plate uh, okay so it's defective equipment
<laughs> Alrighty then. Let's <laughs> <laughs> call the trucks up. Uh, what am I Wait, supposed to do? The building in the back. Yeah, the light, it's correct, it's not working. take the whole package, sir, as long as everything's in there. All right, sir, thank you. Just sit tight for me. I'll get you out of here in just a minute, okay? So they're coming back from the store. So. As long as it comes back valid, everything else is good with the vehicle. He's got registration and insurance that are all valid. Just let him off with a warning, tell him to get his tag light fixed. See what lights out. Just get it taken care of, okay? <laughs> Sounds good. You all drive safe. Have a good evening. No problem. I don't think you're gonna get your three arrests tonight, but I think you did good. Now, so. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I wasn't hunting too hard tonight, to be honest. Thank you very much for allowing me to ride along, and no problem, man. Hope you have a good, safe night. Thank you. I appreciate it.